Hi guys, welcome to the second class of base SAS training and in today's class we are going to cover these four topics. So let's jump to the SAS on demand software. So guys for this we are going to use SAS on demand SAS studio and I am hoping that you have already done all the prerequisites. So to start first we need to create a new program. So you can right click and click on new SAS program or you can press F4. Okay so once this window is open we will write our code. First we are going to create a data set. So I am going to write a data steps. All data steps start with keyword data. Data and after that we will give name of the data set that we are going to create. So I will give employee and then semicolon. Okay I can maximize the view. Just click here. So in the screen you can only see the coding window. So data employee. So I am creating a data set employee. Now I am going to create one variable name emp id and then equal sign and then I will assign 101. So here I have created a variable called employee id and then I will just type run. So here if you can see I have typed data employee emp id equal 101 and run. I am creating one data set employee and creating one variable and the value is 101. 101 is a numeric value. Run this because there is no other code written. So I can directly click here and if I want to run a specific part if there are multiple codes written I will select and then run. So here no other code so I will just run this. I have run it here you can see columns part the output data set has opened that we have created. So you can see it is saying table is work.employee column names view and here it tells columns here only one column employee id if you click here then it will tell you the more information about this. I will just drag up. You can see value. The label is employee id. It has automatically applied the label same as variable name and then variable name is employee id. Length is 8 numeric variables. Length is by default 8 bytes type numeric. Format in format we haven't applied any. If you go here it tells total rows 1 total columns 1. If you go in SAS log you can quickly see if there is any error or not. Here errors warning notes. So errors no warning no notes it is showing two. Notes is just the information for us. So it's not a bad thing. It's actually explaining the things. So it's okay. Errors and warning should not be there. I'll just click on this. It will hide these. These are some options automatically applied. Then this is our code and if you see here the data set work.employee if you see here it's talking about your data set has been created in work library. We will discuss the library later in this class and the data set employee has one observation and one variable. In the log it is saying that we have one row means one observation and one variable and then it's talking about the running information how much time it has taken to execute the code. For now we are also not focusing on these. So later if we get time we will definitely discuss these things also but if we skip this that's okay. Let's go back to our code. So we are able to create employee data set. Now if I want to create one more variable and this time I will create employee name emp underscore name and then I will type name as Dan and then semicolon. If we run this it is going to fail. Why? Because SAS automatically identifies numeric variables. So you can see this is a numeric variable 101. Here if you see this is character. That means we are going to create a character variable. To specify character or to assign character values we need to surround these values with quotes. You can use double quotes or single quotes. Now this is fine. If I run this, see it has created two variable now. If you go and click on employee name you will see employee name, employee name, length is 3 and it's a character. How it's specified 3 because we have assigned the value of 3 character D A N. It has created two variables and one row. Go in log you can see employee has one observations and two variables. We are able to create data set employee with two variables. Now if you want to describe more about these variables you can assign labels. So how to assign labels you just give label statement label then variable name then equal sign and you can assign this variable holds employee id and for the second one emp name equal this variable holds employee name and then semicolon. So we have specified the label for both variables. Now I will run this. 
go here and you can see in the label section it is saying this variable holds employee id so that means if you specify a label of a variable then you describe more about that variable whoever is going to consume this data set employee that person can see the label and understand what this variable is all about so these variables are actually self-explanatory so it's very easy but when you work in actual environment there may be so many variables and it's difficult to identify what each variable holds so you can give a label if i give another name here like this says world employee so what will happen so here earlier i was creating only one data set now i have given another name so if i run this so you can see here two data sets have been created in work library one is employee and second is sas world both will have the same value sas log the statement says the data set work dot employee has one observations and two variables the data set work dot sas world employee has one observations and two variables two data sets have been created with the same values so if you give here like this then multiple data sets you can create okay so i'll just copy this now and then paste it here I'll keep it only one data set and I'm removing this label statement. So we have created one observation. So if you say I want to create one more observation, just go and type like this. I'll just change the values to and this time I'll just type here Sam. So you can see two observation employee ID, employee name, employee ID 102 and employee name is Sam. So two observation. If I run this, what will happen so you can see still one record is written 102 sam so first record is not written even if we go in sas log it will say the data set work dot employee has one observations and two variables so what happened to this why this record is not written in output data set only this record is written so i will explain why this happened so how sas knows that this row needs to be written in output data set employee and these needs to be right so by default sas has an output statement that is invisible just before the run you can imagine that output statement is just before the run statement so like this so we have this information but there is no output statement so this is not written in output data set and since the name of the variable is same so employee id when it reaches here because same name so 101 is replaced by 102 and employee name dan is replaced by sam so that's why we are seeing only this row not this why because output statement is after this i mean this is an invisible statement i just wrote it for your understanding there is one output statement is always present i'll just cut this and i'll place this here now we are saying employee id is this employee name is this and then we are saying okay write this information in output data set i'll select this because this time i just want to execute this portion only so i'll select and run this time if you see employee id 101 and dan is written in output data set but this time 102 is not written in output data set still we have only one observation two variables go here why this has not written you may ask that you already said that there is an output statement just before the run yeah it used to have but what has happened we have moved that statement output statement to this location so if you do not use output statement exclusively like we have used here then there is an invisible statement present just before the step boundary so now there is only one output statement and you have moved here that means for this two information there is no output statement that tells has to write these into output data set to write these two you just need to write output again so you can give multiple output statements whatever you want to write in output data sets if i run this see now this time we have two rows 101, 102, Dan, Sam. If I go in SAS log, the data set work.employee has two observations and two variables. So we are able to understand this output statement also. Now we will talk about library. So this is called two level naming. Two level naming means library name and data set name. So these are two. Before a data set, if we give the library, that means it is two level naming. What is a library? 
library is nothing but a reference to a location so in a folder wherever you want to save your data set the location of that folder we assign to a reference and that reference is called library library can be permanent or local work is a local library that means whatever you have saved inside the work library when you close the session close the says that will be deleted and if i show the library so if you click here and go in libraries you will see multiple libraries are here maps sas data sas help sas user and this is the work library so it's a default library so if you do not give any library reference before the data set then sas assumes or look for the data set in work library so just click on this and you will see employee data set is present and sas world employee data set is present so we have created two data sets and if a data set is already present and you will create that data set again then the previous one is deleted and new one is created so here employee says world is created and when you created again employee then it has deleted the previous employee and created the new one now how we will create our own library to create our own library i'll just create a location and then i will assign library reference of that location so i'll first create a location and then i will create a library that will reference to that location so just go here server files and folder generally we create our folder here files home right click then i will click new and then folder and then i will type says so this folder i am creating click save so you can see this folder is created now i will assign a reference to this location right click on this and just go on properties and then copy this location close now to create a library l i b n a m e live name then give a reference so i'll give a reference to this the same name says world to make sure this reference should not go beyond eight characters now the location in quotes and this location and then semicolon i'm creating live name says world to this location i'll just select and run i have created a library you can see in the says log libref means library reference says world has successfully assigned as follows engine is v9 and physical name is this this is the location i'll go in libraries click on my libraries and you can see here says world is created and in this library nothing is present so now i am going to create a data set in this location i'll go in code and the same code i'll copy and then paste here and here i'll just type says world dot so now i'm giving two level naming so i'm saying save this employee data set where sas world library reference sas world is pointing to this location this data set will permanently store in this location and you can see this information in this library so i'll just select and run and go in libraries sas world click on this now you can see this data set is present in sas world library these are two variables in this and you know that you can see the location of this sas world library this is the location you can see that if this data set is present in the folder so you just go here sas world is the physical location so you can see the data set is showing here that was just a virtual location library it's a virtual location but actual data is in this folder sas world now we are going to remove this library reference to remove this library reference we just copy lib name it's not required just to give it after this data set you can give it anywhere and then you just need to type clear i'm saying lib name says world clear so remove this library reference select and run my libraries and if you see here there is no says world library is showing now the question is is the data set deleted because data set is stored in a folder in permanent location we have just removed the reference means the pointer to that location but the actual data that was stored in sas world is not deleted so you can create a library reference 
run this part again and you can see this data set in this library see so you just remove the library reference but data is not deleted just go here remove the library but the data is still there so here we are able to clear the library reference if you have multiple library references you have created and you want to clear all then you need to type lib name underscore all underscore clear so guys we are done with all four topics of today so guys if you have any questions and doubts just mention in the comment section and i'll try to cover those doubts in the next class so guys we will meet in the next session till that time happy learning